Replacement strings are a great way to personalize the D2L experience for your users with very little effort on the part of the instructor or course designer. In a nutshell, replacement strings allow an instructor to type in a little bit of code to say a news item and then have that news item display with a student's name, email address, or other personalized information. With a replacement string, your students can feel like you are talking to them directly via D2L. Since you will probably be using replacement strings most often in the news area, we will start there, though you can use replacement strings anywhere in D2L. To personalize a news item with a replacement string, I begin by adding a new news item. In the body of the news item, I'm going to use the first name and last name replacement strings to direct this news item to individual users in my class. To add a replacement string, you can see I simply typed either first name or last name, all one word, no spaces, and surround it by these curvy brackets. Once this is completed, when you or your students view this news announcement, you're going to see your own first and last name instead of the replacement string code. You can also use a string in the news item headline if you wish. Once you have the news item as you want it, you can then scroll down and click Publish. And you can see that my news item has a first name here in the headline and a first and last name in the body. Note that the same technique of adding curvy bracketed replacement strings into text in D2L will work virtually anywhere in the D2L environment. Also, there are many different replacement strings you can use in D2L, though I would say by far the ones you'll want to work with first are the first name and last name strings. You can see all the replacement strings possible by using the link below this video. I also want to point out that this tool is very effective for garnering student attention, and for that reason it should be used sparingly. If you start every news item, for example, with the student's name, like I've done here, you can see that the name inclusion may lose its effectiveness.